Before changing out the arms, we must first put this in the service mode, stop the pump and the fluid from flowing. Once in service mode, then we can disconnect the hoses, release the lock arm, and release the safety latch. Flip the arm up and remove the arm, and we're ready to replace it with the new arm. Before placing the arm in, we want to make sure that we put a copper grease on here for lubricant and conductivity. We're just smearing the grease, making sure we have good contact on there. Then we can install the arm, making sure that the safety latch is up. Install the arm, drop it down. Now we're gonna engage the hoses. Simply place those in and push, should click in. Next thing is to lock the arm in place using the lock mechanism. Make sure that it is fully engaged. If by chance, while fully engaged, the lock arm is making contact with the pin, adjustments needed at this point. To make adjustments, we're gonna lift up the locking arm and on the right hand side, there's a set screw that we're gonna to need to use the Allen head wrench, loosen up the set screw and then make adjustments on the knob on the right hand side. Once we get this set to where we have a gap between the pin and the lock mechanism, we can retighten the set screw using the Allen key and then firmly secure the lock arm in place. Now we're ready to check the tips. Make sure the tips are clean before any calibration is done. Remember, once we've welded and then made 200 welds with this, replacement of the caps is needed. To replace the caps, we're going to use the wrench that's provided with the system and give it a quick twist. The caps will pop off. Install with the new cap. When we go to calibrate, it's going to seat the caps, lock them in place. Uh, we're ready to calibrate the system now. After properly installing the C1 arm, we're ready to take it out of the service mode and put it in the auto mode for calibration. Once we go into auto mode, we're going to properly select the arm that we installed. The C1 arm. Now we're ready to calibrate. We're going to depress the top button to close the clamp without any material. First thing it's going to ask us, close clamp without steel. Depress the button one more time to close the clamp without any material between the tips. This allows us to calibrate the system in auto mode. The calibration word disappeared from the screen. Now we're ready to start welding. Place a coupon between the tips. Hit the top button. Close the clamp. This will produce a weld. And during auto mode, it's going to tell us if the weld was OK. It's going to tell us the amperage used to create that weld, the time needed for that weld, the force that was used by the electrodes for that weld, and then it'll give us a reading of the material thickness. If for some reason you have an incorrect weld, the bottom button will light up red. By pressing the bottom button will allow you to reset the system without having to come back to the machine. Now you're ready to reproduce that same weld again. While in auto mode, after 20 welds, the system will ask you to recalibrate without any material between the two electrodes. You can simply hit the top button again without any material between the electrodes, close the clamp, and allow the system to recalibrate, and you're ready to start welding again. That's how simple it is to weld with the C1 arms.